this is the story of when I wish I didn't let her come inside. It's one of those nights. Everyone's got somewhere to be, except for me. It's all good though. I throw Netflix up on the TV. There's a couple shows I've been trying to watch anyways, but I don't even get halfway through browsing when someone's knocking at the door. That's weird. I don't remember ordering anything. I get up to go check who it is. They knock again, louder this time. I'm a little freaked out, so I look through the peephole and it's a girl. Her clothes are all ripped up and she's bleeding. Help, let me in. Yeah, I want to help, but it'd probably be smarter to let the police deal with this. So I pull out my iPhone and dial 911. When? Please, if you don't open the door, he's gonna get me. Ah, I cave and let her in, then lock the door behind her. I look through the peephole and nothing. I bring her a glass of water. She's clearly still shaken up. I put the water on the coffee table. You okay? He's going to find me. Okay. Who? It's too late. He's coming. Who? He's going to. He has my. Who, damn it! I'm sorry. It's just. I can't help unless you talk to me. Let's start over. What's your name? Angel. What happened, Angel? Promise you won't judge me. Promise. Bruh. What she told me next f me up. I know life ain't fair, but damn. Some people definitely have it worse than others. I guess I had to try and help. Basically, Angel came here from Mexico for school. She was so smart that she won a scholarship. Problem is, the scholarship only covered part of it, and she still needed money for other things, like taking care of her daughter. She needed to find a way to make money quick. A part-time job wouldn't pay enough, and in between school and her kid, she didn't have the time. So she turned to something else. She wasn't proud of it, but she decided to be a sugar baby. If you don't know, a sugar baby is a girl who hangs out with rich, older guys in exchange for money. Yeah, shady. Her employer would often set her up with, you know, business guys, politicians, anyways. One night, she gets set up with, we'll call him Mr. X because she's afraid to say his real name. This guy's a real big shot. So Mr. X is in the city just for the night, and guess where he's staying? Yep, just a couple floors up from my place. She gets inside and sends a message. Angel is sketched out, but she doesn't want to risk losing her job. She gets out of the elevator and walks towards room 3200. She knocks. Then, Mr. X opens the door. Angel knew it'd be some big shot, but she didn't think it'd be him. Actually, she was a little bit of a fan, but she had to keep it professional. Come in. She goes inside and looks around. Wow, it's lavish. Make yourself at home. Angel smiles. What's wrong? You don't seem happy to see me. Oh. No, it's just that I actually know you from... <laughs> I get it. Say no more. I'm just a regular guy, looking for some company. Doesn't hurt that it's with a gorgeous lady. She blushes and notices. Ah, the view. It's breathtaking from up here, isn't it? Yeah. <gasps> oh my god. Angel covers her eyes. Mr. X is not wearing his pants. Isn't it? I think there's a misunderstanding. I don't do that. Oh, come on. Sure you do. I'm sorry, I have to go. She tries to leave, but then Mr. X grabs her arm. Do you know how many girls would kill to be you right now? Great, then ask one of them. What'd you say to me? He throws her and rips her shirt. Angel crashes into a standing mirror. She gets cut up and starts bleeding. I don't like you, so I'm gonna get rid of you. And nobody's gonna miss you when you're gone. He gets closer, but then... Angel tosses a shard of broken glass right at him. It scrapes his eye. Ah! This is her chance. She gets up and books it out of his room. And runs to the elevators. No, they're too slow. 
she keeps going down the stairs. One, two, three. She runs downstairs until she loses count. Plus, she's out of breath. So she heads into the first open hallway. Angel sprints down the hall and starts banging on the first door she sees. My door. And that brings us up to speed. Yo, screw that guy. We gotta call the cops. No! Why not? Imagine how many other girls he's done this to. Angel starts tearing up. Then she pulls out her iPhone and shows me. Oh no. Bruh, whoever her employer is, they really gotta check those HR policies, man. Just because somebody quits on the job does not mean you should take their daughter. <sighs> Good news is, I had a plan. I'm carrying a knocked out angel back to Mr. X's apartment. I get there and knock on his door. Mr. X opens the door. Oh sh**. They really weren't joking when they said he was a big shot. I think I found something that belongs to you. Who the hell are you? I work for the higher ups. He checks me. Get in. Quick, before anybody sees. Where'd you find her? Caught her trying to sneak out the back. How'd you know I was here? What do you mean? Only the boss knows my location. Now! Angel wakes up and jumps at Mr. X. He dodges, then looks up at... I mean, I really wanted to avoid punching a celebrity in the face. But was it satisfying? Yes. Yes, it was very satisfying. Anyways, back to the plan. Before, we were in a bad situation because they had Angel's daughter and we had nothing. We needed leverage, so we captured Mr. X. Now, they won't do anything to Angel's daughter because they don't want to risk losing their big shot client. So we'll drive up to the location and trade Mr. X for Angel's daughter. Everybody wins and nobody gets hurt. We pull up to the location. It's some abandoned warehouse. We get out of the car and start walking towards it. Hello! Hello! Her voice echoes. It's dark and there doesn't seem to be anybody here. Maybe we're at the wrong address. I thought I told you to come alone. I know, but please, I need to see my daughter. Doesn't matter. Say goodbye to your little friend. Suddenly, red dots appear on both of us. I need to act quick before it's too late. Wait. We have Mr. X. We'll give him back. In exchange for Angel's daughter. Then, a man's figure appears. He has Angel's daughter. Prove it. I slowly pull out my iPhone with the Tesla app open. I hit the summon feature. The Tesla pulls up and... The trunk pops open. Mr. X is inside, tied up. Okay, man. I guess you have yourself a deal. The man loosens his grip, but then his phone rings. He picks up. Hello? Him too? Yes, understood. There's been a change in plans. We want him, too. The man points at me. No, that wasn't part of the deal. I don't think you understand. We get both of them, or she dies. He pulls out a gun and points it to her daughter's head. It's okay. I walk over to the trunk and untie Mr. X. Deal. He lets the daughter go, and she runs back to Angel. I know what you're thinking. Wow, Stephen, you sacrificed yourself for a mother to be reunited with her daughter? Nah, bruh. I didn't just give myself up and hope for the best. Hope isn't a strategy. Like I said, I had a plan. Angel and her daughter are gone, a safe distance from here by now. I'm surrounded by Mr. X, this pimp, and a few of their goons. Suddenly, I get a phone call. Give me that. Now! Okay, okay. I pass him the phone. He smashes it on the ground and steps on it. You're a dead man now, eh? Am I? You're unarmed, alone, and surrounded. Please tell me how you're gonna get out of this one. Well, 
Considering how you're a big shot who's missing, every cop in the city is probably looking for you right now. And? And he just smashed your phone right after someone tried calling you. What? You weasel! When the cops get here, you probably don't want to be seen with your friends here. What should we do? Leave. Now! The pimp and his henchmen get away. Mr. X stares at me with murderous intent. He's so angry, he's shaking. He doesn't blink. I can't even hear him breathe. Almost like he's imagining all the different ways he could kill me and is trying to pick the most painful one. Then, a cop car pulls up and... Mr. X, I'm so glad you're okay. What happened? Mr. X's expression suddenly changes. He puts on this super fake TV smile. This gentleman right here is a hero. He saved my life. <laughs>